Hey guys! So oftentimes after a fiberglass project, I'll clean off my desk only to find more resin remaining on the surface of my desk that I have to scrape up with a razor blade later on, as you see here. It recently occurred to me these epoxy resin chips or flakes must be very thin to be evading all my cleaning tools, and must also be very strong to be able to hold together like that even when I'm scraping them with a razor blade. So I figured they'd probably be a good material for the skin of a hollow core wing or other aircraft applications. And I figured I'd look at them more closely. Here we see the edge of a razor blade magnified under my microscope. And here we see the epoxy resin veneer, showing that the edge is about as thin as the apex of the razor blade. Now, looking at the material in a more macro context, we can see that it's actually quite strong, able to resist tension, compression, twisting, and bending forces quite nicely. The only force it seems to be weak to is the shear force, as you can see I can rip it, but that actually makes sense because that explains why it's so easy to scrape off my desk with a razor blade. The next step was to roughly shape some test wings out of Adam's foam board, such that I could cover them with epoxy resin and use acetone to remove the foam and hopefully end up with some nice resin hollow core wings. As you can see, I've now covered both test wings with a coat of resin all the way around. This first one is covered with 30-minute epoxy from Tower Hobbies. The epoxy covering here weighed 1.34 grams. This second test wing is covered with a coat of Z-Poxy fiberglass finishing resin that weighs 1.41 grams. As well as being a little heavier, the surface finish on this one also came out a little more rough. I next wanted to experiment with the surface finish of the parts. So for the Z-Poxy part, which as you remember had a rougher surface, I used some 320 grit sandpaper to smoothen out the surface and also hopefully even out the thickness and texture of the resin coating. And no, this isn't sped up, I just really do sand this fast. At this point, I was fairly confident that this method for making a hollow core wing would work. And so as you can see here, I went about making a very nice, precisely sanded foam core out of Adam's foam board to be covered with resin and made into a hollow core wing with an epoxy surface. The airfoil sanding you see here took me over two hours to do, and I was both quite pleased with it when it came out and excited to cover it with resin and make a nice hollow core wing. But of course, I still had to finish those test wings to see the differences between the two types of epoxy. And then that's when the bad news hit. You see, when I applied the acetone to dissolve the foam, it also partially ate away at the epoxy resin, causing it to go all squishy and weird and lose its original form. Then when the acetone evaporated again, the epoxy resin hardened back up, but not at all in the shape I'd originally intended. As you can see, the Z-epoxy did fare slightly better, probably because it was a little bit denser and heavier, but still, it's nowhere near the original shape I wanted, and it actually got even more brittle than the 30-minute resin. So I guess you could say, things weren't looking too good. But I had a plan B. Or, anyway, I quickly made up a plan B. See, I had noticed wood glue did a similar thing to the epoxy by forming flakes or chips, and so I tried to put some wood glue on a piece of foam to see if it would act similarly. And unfortunately, it did act similarly. On contact with the acetone, the wood glue got all weird and squishy, just like the epoxy resin, or even a little more extremely. It completely lost the original form of the shape of the foam that I'd put it over, and totally became useless as a structure for a hollow core wing. But what about that nice wing I'd spent so much time working on? Well, at that point, I decided to cut my losses and just fiberglass that wing normally like any other wing, and perhaps I'd make a nice DLG out of it. So I did that. I took a few layers of 0.75 ounce fiberglass cloth, and I covered the wing in them using some plastic sheets and some weights to get a nice smooth finish. I then had a wing that weighed around 11.5 grams. I added about 15 degrees of dihedral to it and called it done. Then I made the rest of the aircraft. But wait a minute, that's another story for another video and another week. So for now, thanks for watching this video. See you next time.